To God be the glory. <laughs> How are you doing, my great audience? How am I looking? I would like you to comment below and let me know. So my name is Ransford Afari and I'm a registered massage therapist, CEO of Reflex Aromatherapy in South Accra, Ghana, West Africa, depending on where you're watching me from. If you have chance on any of my earlier videos, I spoke about massage, what it is, and then the benefits it brings. And in this episode, I'll be talking about the types of massages and which type of massage is good for you. Okay, let me tell you, all massages are good, but then you should have a reason for choosing a particular type. Now, I spoke about the fact that many civilizations have adapted massages and it was good for them at the time and it's still good this time around, right? So, there aren't a lot of reasons why you shouldn't get massages. Someday I'll talk about contraindication, okay? So, what type of massage is good for you? First, let me talk briefly about the type of massages. There are many types of massages, and at the end of the day, watch your situation, your stress, and the reason for getting massage is will determine what type of massage you should get. Okay, these civilizations that have adapted massage as their lifestyle has coined or branded it in their culture. So we have Shaistu from Japan, Lomi Lomi from Hawaii, Swedish massage, which is just the basic relaxation massage. We have Thai from Thailand. We have Ayurveda from India and Yewo Miami from Ghana. <laughs> okay, so these are massages, right? But I know you know of certain types of massages that are the dimension. Okay, let me be concise here. I think that in my second video, The Benefits of Massage, I made mention about the fact that massage can even improve your libido and then your sex life. So obviously, sexual frustration is a kind of stress where whomever is going through that frustration may want to use massage to better it, right? Okay. Maybe you can go swimming and may improve on your sex life. The goal-oriented and proven results that people who are sexually frustrated receive from massage may be sensual or erotic. So one, there is relaxation massage for correcting pain, panic, anxiety, depression, and everything thereof when it comes to the physical and mental health. And then two, there is sensual massage slash erotic massage based on the client's preference. Now, let me explain sensual and erotic massage. We apply our palms on your body. We hope that you will be able to, on the intake form, tell us where we shouldn't touch. Sensuality based on the therapist expertise is based on the pace of the, the therapist's palm on the client's body. There are five strokes that we as massage therapists apply whenever we are offering massages. And it is not to say that every massage will incorporate those five strokes. There is a forage, petrissage, tapotma, vibration, rubbing, friction, and all those. We know. Now, when a therapist is applying his or her hands on a client based on the preference of massage type they've chosen, and it had to be sensual, the sensuality is just a slower movement on the client's body in the purpose of arousing and then causing any inch of the client's body to respond to stimuli. 
So sensual massage necessarily doesn't have to be that the therapist would have to massage your private and then your most, you know, secret packages. At the end of the day, if you, the client, might have obliged that the therapist, you know, touch any part or every part of your body, it is a consent that you, the client, had given to the therapist. Of course, Socrates said that for every massages to be effective and the efficacy and the benefits thereof received, every part of the body where blood flows should be massaged. So, if you don't want a sensual massage, why would you take a sensual massage? Because the moment you, the client, is not comfortable to a certain touch, the whole process or experience would be like you are happy, you are not happy, you know, you are healed, but you are thinking, no. Don't ever go to the massage parlors or spas and act dumba. When I say dumba, I'm speaking in the sense where you pretend and then because you are either shy, which is anxiety, because you are not confident enough or bold enough to ask for what you wanted, so you are putting the therapist in the box where you want the therapist to read between the lines and then offer what you probably might have not taken on the intake form. And that is very dangerous. Because naturally, women are the weaker sex. Some men are sissies. They wouldn't tell you what they want, but they know you know that that is what they want. For us as allied sciences practitioners, we are just like doctors. And for you to go to a doctor and then tell the doctor you have back pain, when actually you have stomach ache, the doctor will just look at you and say, go get this from the pharmacy, try this one times two daily, and if symptoms persist, come back and see me. That is to say that for going to the hospital and lying to the doctor, you have been prescribed of the wrong solution. So don't come to the massage parlors and think that they are there for certain mischiefs and all that. And that, uh, uh, pardon my friends, that you have the most prettiest of all bodies to the extent that you, your body is going to entice the, the therapist to do what is unwarranted of, of him. Many massages ought to be described in a manner and be required by the client. And if that is not adhered to, and the therapist did what they were not supposed to, then there is a call for a certain action. I'm begging all you there are many types of massages. There could be like 300 types of massages, but all fall under relaxation and essential massages. So if you can use massage to improve your sex life, then there is a certain massage for your sexual frustrations. Mind you, frustration is a type of stress. So when you go for massages and you want maybe your sex life improved, but you don't want a certain part of your body touch, spill the beans, tell the therapist, fill a form, and then hold accountable to what you have written and signed. Don't go to massage parlors and then think that the massage therapist can read between the lines and then heal you accordingly. You had a reason for setting out to go and get a massage. What was that reason? That is exactly what you have to go by. My name is Ransford Afari. I think that I've been a bit, you know, passionate about this video because I've done this for eight years. Clients will call you. They know what they want, but they want you to give them a, you know, like a teacher, student, you know, description, definition of massage. And you wonder, I mean, you are a banker for Christ's sake. 
you have tension at your back. We know uh, uh, the stresses that every banker go through as a teller or as an administrative person. So why are you talking about sensual massages when that is really not what you want? Is it because it is going to be offered by a female therapist so you want to play games? Well, it's your life and your money anyways. <laughs> if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, I think this video should tell you that I say it like it is and there is a lot of you know puzzles for us to unravel and grabs and then make sure that we live peacefully healthier ever after tell others to follow subscribe to as well and should they have any questions they should let me know by commenting below and i'll be very interactive to them thank you for your focus and attention to watching this video all the way to the fullest and I look forward to making it more brief in the next. Thank you.